What is up, YouTubers? It is DJ Illusion. I will be giving you some pretty good content here. I know it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded some videos. I will show you guys how to get to this step here in taking apart an all-in-one Sony VAIO computer. So stay tuned and let's get started. <laughs> It is DJ Illusion, and I'll show you guys how to fix a bad fan in your Sony VAIO model VPCL231FX. In order to remove this stand you see here, it is held in by four Phillips screws, so you will need a Phillips screwdriver to remove these four screws here. Once you have these Phillips screws removed, you'll then tip the computer over on the screen, lift upwards. Now that it's lied down, you'll then lift upwards and this will come out. So now that this is removed, you now have access to this panel here. You will need to remove these screws here. There are Phillips screws, and there should be about four of them. One, two, three, one here. Once those are removed, so in order to remove this chassis, you'll need to remove this screw here, here, one right here. That should take care of this plastic chassis. Now for the next step, have some sort of credit card such as these. Then wedge the actual card itself inside. And there's like some retaining clips. This card will touch and release them. You should be able to pry apart the chassis. So once you've removed all the T screws that are marked on the chassis here, or the stainless steel chassis, these are the screws, they're the black ones. There are some other type of screws as well, but once you have them removed, you should then have access to the board. Everything you need to do in terms of processor upgrade would be right here. Your memory upgrade would happen right here. And the most that this does support is 8 gigabytes, unfortunately. The system does not recognize more than 8 gigs. This might be a bad... Oh yeah, this thing is bad. The bearings... I'll try my best to clean this out. If in fact it's no good, we'll have to just swap it. And there is a nice close-up of the fan itself that is causing the problems with the noise. Since this fan was making noise, I went ahead and took it apart and gave it a good cleaning. And what I used to clean was some Q-tips soaked with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm not sure if this is going to actually work or fix the problem with this fan making a lot of noise. If it doesn't, the next step is buy a replacement fan. And how I got this fan apart or the propeller was simply pull. Once you pull it out, it comes right out. Inside here was really filthy. I am not sure again if this is going to fix the noisy fan problem, but I'm hoping it does. Well, it doesn't seem to make as much noise when I spin it, so that's good. Moment of truth. We're going to turn this on for the first time. Power button's right here. See if we can hear the fan. The fan's running pretty good. It does look like we're in business. No more grinding fan noise. Just a noisy bald Vietnamese swimming in that pool over there. But aside from that, yeah, this thing is good. So the computer is in standby mode. Fan is going. 
but no more audible grinding noise from before. So that is how you fix your Sony VAIO VPC-L231FX. Now this could apply to other all-in-one touchscreens. I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe, leave your comment below, and make sure you give this a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video as well.